Hello, I'm Claire, the Learning and Participation Officer at West Berkshire Museum. Today I'm bringing you a messy museum craft at home to make a Roman shield. You will need an A4 sheet of thin card in red or colour in a sheet of A4 white card with a red pe felt tip pen or red paint. A strip of thin card approximately 29 by 3 centimetres. A polystyrene ball half or you can use a piece of gold or silver tissue paper to form a ball and flatten on one side to make a semicircle. Gold paint or gold glitter, PVA glue or glue dots and sticky tape. Optional are scissors, pencil and a ruler. Take the A4 sheet of thin card. If it is not already red, colour in with red felt tip pen or red paint. If necessary, leave to dry. Paint gold or cover with glue and glitter the polystyrene half ball or scrunch up a piece of gold or silver tissue paper into a ball and flatten on one side. If using paint or glue and glitter on the polystyrene half, leave to dry. With gold paint or glue, draw a thin line or border around the outside of the sheet of card. This is your shield. If using glue, sprinkle on gold glitter and leave to dry. Then gently shake off the excess glitter. Now glue the polystyrene or tissue semicircle onto the middle of your A4 sheet of red card, your shield. This is the shield boss and was usually made of metal. Its original purpose was to deflect sword blows from the centre of the shield. With a strip of thin card approximately 29 by 3 centimetres, attach to the back of the A4 card using sticky tape at each end to create a handle to hold the shield by. Your shield is now complete. It's a much smaller version of a shield that would have been carried by a soldier in the Roman army. Imagine you're a soldier and practice your sword skills with your fellow soldiers. Use the shield to protect yourself from their sword blows. I hope you've enjoyed today's craft and will visit the museum soon. Goodbye for now.